Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start up a new quote-unquote normal series uh, for Alpha 18.2 stable release. Uh, the last quote-unquote normal series, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second, uh, that I did was on Experimental 1, and um, then when they released uh, Alpha 18 proper, then I started up the Dead is Dead series. And so what I want to do is I want to get back to a quote-unquote normal series uh, and, you know, do that in conjunction with the continuing Dead is Dead series. And that's going to continue on uh, for quite some time. I have enough footage recorded for the Dead is Dead series uh, to last all the way up through uh, probably the end of January and maybe even into February, um, depending upon, you know, how I decide to schedule the releases of those. So there's a lot, a lot more Dead is Dead uh, content coming up. However, um, I want to play the game in the, the normal way too. Now, let me qualify what I mean by normal. Uh, those of you who know me, we're still going to play the game on insane difficulty. Uh, all the zombies are still going to be set to nightmare speed. Uh, so that part's not going to change. However, this series is not a Dead is Dead series. And it's also not going to be a Horde Night Every Night series like it is in the other one. So... Uh, we'll probably just do the horde every seven days in the normal mode, and you know if I if if I die, it's not game over. We just we continue on. Now, of course, as always, we'll try and minimize you know the number of deaths that we have. But um, and I, I'm still going to play as if it were a dead is dead series. So so you know to 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 not you know try die unnecessarily. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But uh, I just want to you know I want to kind of switch things up for myself and you know just kind of play the game. In the, in the somewhat normal manner, uh, aside, you know, from the difficulty settings, uh, and also try an actual random generated map, too, because everything I've done so far in Alpha 18 uh, has either been on the pre-gen maps um, or Navisgain itself, okay? So this is going to be an actual, an actual generated world uh, for this series. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, all the settings here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new random gen world, and let's call this, um, I was kind of messing around uh, with this, doing a little bit of testing earlier. So let's call this uh, A18.2 um, and uh, S1. So this would be season one for, for stable release. Uh, I only did one season for, for the experimental, so this will be season one for, for stable, okay? Uh, we're going to do a random world. And for the seed, let's just call this um, OG... Um, OG A18-2, okay? So Bariji Valley, it looks like where we're gonna be. We'll keep the, the world size at eight kilometers, that's big enough. And uh, I don't want to, don't need to do anything with advanced generation, okay? Um, so for the settings, <clears throat> we're gonna go insane, but we're gonna change the day cycle of 20, or I'm sorry, to 90 minutes. That gives us a little bit more time during the day uh, to get stuff done. Makes the nights a little bit longer too, but because we're not doing horde nights every night now, I can still, you know, go out and do stuff at night and be productive, even though it's a little more dangerous because there's more ferals that come out at night. We'll keep the daylight length at 18. Uh, blood moon frequency is going to be every seven days. I th I thought about though, you know, toying with um, a range for this, um, just so you know, to add a little bit of uh, of unknown into this. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to actually do that, considering. Uh, you know, our other series. I suppose we could. I suppose we could. How about if we offset this by, say, up to three days? That's kind of what I was testing with earlier anyways. Uh, not that I got far enough to actually get a horde on that first test. but um, And the other thing, too, in that test is I did, I did have a couple of glitchy things happen with the random generated world. Uh, one time I kind of fell through the world sort of thing, and then there was a a problem with the first trader that he came across where the trader himself wasn't actually in the building. So I'm hoping, you know, we don't run into those problems again with the real deal here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do a blood moon range offset of three days. So if you don't understand what that means, it means we could get a horde as early as day four or as late as day 10. Uh, and then, you know, so we don't really know until I think some, somewhere like, you know, at nine o'clock in the morning of that day where it warns us if we're getting a horde. Um, or we could... Now, I don't want to disable the warning altogether, because then we just, you know, then we're just never going to know for sure, and, and that's going to have a huge impact on, you know, what we plan uh, to do for that particular day. So, um, yeah, let's just keep that the warning on the morning. Okay, all the Zs are set to nightmare speed. 
Um, multiplier, XP multiplier, we're gonna keep, you know, normal settings there. Um, let's do all of this on normal. If we do die, we drop everything, so we have to go recover all of our stuff. Uh, if we die, I've, I've always used that setting when I when I play the, the hardcore mode here. Uh, loot respawn time, 30 days. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't like that to come in uh, too, too much sooner because, you know, that kind of encourages you to, to get out and explore more and stuff like that. Though we will be doing a lot of trader questing, so, you know, that's not going to be a huge thing. Um, I'm going to, I'm bumping the blood moon count down to 32 enemies from 64 for performance reasons. I've got a pretty beefy computer, but 64 blood moon uh, enemies even tanks my computer. You know, we don't want to have bad frame rates. So we're going to keep that on 32. Um, if we don't have any performance problems at all on 32, I might go into the config file later on and bump that up a little bit, but let's just start with 32, okay? Enemy spawning is on, of, of course. <laughs> uh, airdrops every three days. However, I'm not gonna do drops, so we still have to find those airdrops, which adds an extra challenge, of course, uh, to the game. And that's pretty much it. Multiplayer stuff doesn't count. And so, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna generate the world, and then when it's finished generating, I'll bring you back and we'll start our new season one in stable alpha 18.2 in quote unquote normal mode okay all right guys i'll see you uh in the game all right guys here we go and wow we actually spawned in the forest for a change that's that's fortuitous very fortuitous Okay, let me get started with, uh, you know, get the, the starter quest out of the way, get the first four points, uh, gather up a couple resources, and then we will uh, come back and go from there. All right, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Took me forever to find some stone. There's That's the first boulder I've actually seen right there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, now I see this boulder, and we got a town already. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so the trader that they want us to go to is going to be to the south. Um, all the way down there, my goodness. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we got, a, we got a town here, though, which is really good. Let's... um. Just kind of do a little waypoint here, and we'll just call this town. Whoops. But we're gonna we're gonna do the go to the trader first, so we can start doing the buried treasure quest and all that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our skill points. Now, when you play this game on the same difficulty with the zombies, all set to nightmare speed. There's two things that I've found because I've been doing this a lot now, uh, ever since Alpha 16, in fact. Uh, I, I think in Alpha 18, um, th the things that are going to help you out the most at the very beginning are from the shadows, and this is probably going to be the only point I'm going to put into this, um, because later on, you know, it just it does it becomes less and less uh, important unless you're going to do like a full-on stealth build, which I am not going to be doing. Um, and then the rest of it we want to basically put into uh, a second point into intellect. And then a point into advanced engineering and a point into grease monkey. And what that allows us to do is that gives us all the skills and perks that we need to, to make a bicycle. Now, if we're really lucky, uh, when we hit the uh, the trader, 
we will oh here i'm gonna harvest this boulder um let's do this stump too when we hit the trader if, if the trader has a working workbench and a working forge we are freaking golden if they don't you know then we we just adjust and go from there uh and make our own but we're gonna want both of those things anyway so those are not wasted points um because once we can get once we can get uh a vet, you know, a vehicle. So in, in this case, a bicycle, you know, that, that increases our survivability, you know, tenfold. It's just a, just absolutely amazing what that, that'll do for us being able to survive because, you know, then we can be out on the road, you know, and we can get away from the zombies if they happen to overrun our base. So we can, you know, get to the bike, we can get away, you know, in that, in that regard. So the bicycle is just huge for surviving uh, in a brand new insane nightmare a difficulty game so that's what we're going to work towards then once we achieve the bicycle you know then we'll start working on some of the other critical skills that we need you know to advance but the bicycle is going to be our first uh our first priority here okay so let me get this uh, boulder all harvested up and then we're going to start moving south towards that trader and uh take the first buried treasure quest that the trader has and also cross our fingers and hope that they have a working forge and a working workbench but it's also good that we're in the forest, and it's good that we have a town right here, uh, just off to the north of us, that we can go and potentially, you know, set up a home base in and uh, go from there. All right, so, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start working our way towards the trader. I've got uh, stone on my toolbar, so we can throw that to distract zombies. Let's make uh, some more arrows, too, for our bow. Not that we'll probably be using that a whole lot right early on. I even ended up harvesting some uh, a coal and a nitrate deposit just to get the stone out of it because I was not finding stone anywhere. Uh, the nails, if we can sell those, we'll hang on to them for now, and then we'll just kind of see how that goes. Okay, the other thing I want to do too, of course, is I want to make myself uh, a, a couple of stone spears. So let's make two of those. Uh, we don't need that. And then uh, we also want to make about 30 wood frames or so. That still leaves us 137 wood, so... Okay, let's get this this guy loaded up here. And we'll get one stone spear down there, and we'll just keep the other one in our inventory for now. And I think, uh, I think we're good to go. All right, let's roll. Now, I'm also, because this is not a permadeath series, I'm also, if I feel like I'm really going to get into trouble, I'm going to throw my bedroll down. So that way we can, um, you know, respawn in the general vicinity and not be 10 miles away when we respawn. Now, I'm still going to play this as if it were a Dead is Dead series. I mean, we're not going to we're not going to give up and die. We're going to try and be as smart about this as we can, but you know, the the biggest problem with Dead is Dead is, is not that I mind, you know, playing with that excitement. In fact, I kind of love playing with that excitement. It just, you know, adds more danger to the game. The problem with it is, you know, once you do get into mid game or even into end game and then you die, <laughs> It sucks because you gotta start all over again, you know. And, and I know that's probably a very obvious statement, but it, you know, after a while, it gets to be, it gets to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. We'll put it that way. So that's partially why I wanted to start a a normal season, uh, in other words, a non permadeath and a non horde night every night season. But uh, like I mentioned in the introduction to the video here, uh, we are, you know, that that series is going to continue on for a very long time. Uh, a very long time. If I re if I release the daily videos uh, or release the videos from that every single day from here on out, it's still going to go all the way through the end of January and then even into February probably. Uh, but what I might end up doing is I might end up staggering this season or this series with that. So one you know on one day we'll release the normal series and the next we'll release the dead is dead and then the next we'll release release the normal and and kind of go you know that way to to, to stretch it out. Uh, partly why I want to do that too is that um, I'm going to be gone for about two weeks or so in January and probably another week or so in February uh, on business trips. And so, you know, I want to make sure we have plenty of footage uh, recorded and ready for you guys uh, during those times when I, I'm not going to be around to record at all. So, okay, so we'll keep picking up stone and hitting wood and stuff as we go. But uh, actually, let's get moving here. Too. We, don't, we don't have all day and we're going to start seeing Zekers here so we got to we got to be on our guard the name of the game in the very very early stages here is avoidance we do not want to be 
aggroed by a zombie. If we can help it. Unless it's that guy. If it's that guy, we call this guy easy for a reason. <laughs> Alright, come here, easy. There we go. Alright. 413 XP, our first kill. Yeah, yes. I try, I try and uh, break the small stones when I see them as opposed to picking them up because you get a tiny bit of XP for doing it that way. Every little bit counts, especially in the very beginning game. In case you're wondering why I'm doing that instead of, uh, you know, picking them up. Okay, let's keep moving this way. I'm very pleased to see that the traders. Probably still in the forest biome. Maybe. We'll see. He's still a little ways off there. I'm not crazy about the idea that he's so far away from the town, but there could be another town closer anyway. So let's just keep going and we'll assess the situation once we get there. Got to make sure... It looks like we might have a desert biome way off to the west there, which is good. So I'd like to be close to a desert. I don't want to be in a desert, but I'd like to be close to a desert. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, she's not that fast, so we can get away from her. I would say, I don't know, probably about 30 to 40% of the, of the normal run-of-the-mill zombies we can outrun, and then about... 60 to 70 percent are, you know, either as fast as we are or even faster. Freaking scary, man. Okay, she kind of buggered off the other way. Now, there's a couple... Okay, he's pretty fast. We gotta go. But fortunately, the trainer's right up here. He's, he's one of those zombies that's probably about... Just a little slower than we are, but still fast enough. That doesn't sound good. Phew. Okay, good. She's another slow-ish zombie. Alright, so do I have enough arrows to kill these guys? Get the XP. I'd actually rather kill Tourette's here because he's faster than Lady Zombie is. Took his arm off. It's really hard, hard to hit him though because you know he's so spastic here. Oh, that didn't work so well. And last arrow. Okay, well. If he does catch up to us, he's super softened up, so... Alright, let's check the machinery here. Let's see if what works and what doesn't. And we'll loot, of course, too. Got another duct tape. We're gonna need that. Okay, here's where we could potentially find our pipe wrench that we're gonna need. Or our... Our workbench, if we end up having to make one. And we're gonna need one to wrench a couple cars. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Okay. Now, hopefully we can find actually two of those because we need to keep one and the other one we need to use to make the workbench, assuming we have to make the workbench again. I uh, can't pick that up. We already checked that. Okay. Let's go take a look up here real quick see if there's anything that's lootable. Iron desks. Oh, look at that. Holy crap. That's a nice find early on. Really nice. Gonna help us with buried treasures and loot bonus. And we've got some BDU bottoms, too. Those are also nice. Thank you, RNG gods. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. What do we got in here? Okay, yeah, The uh, we don't care about that, but we will definitely take the sewing kit. And I think that's 
all we can loot in this place. I don't think there's anything else. Let's double check, though. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else up here. Okay, now let's go check all of the, the storage sheds. One of these, I think, has the concrete mixer. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay, that's good to know. That's not quite as important as the other stuff early on, but... Oh, how about the schematic? Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, we got the vitamins. Okay, so we don't have access to an early chem bench, so that's fine. What about this? Oh, darn it. Okay, how about the schematic? No, but we got the 15 forge iron. We need that, too. If the, if the tool bench or the workbench works, that's really probably the most important thing because it's not too hard to make a forge. And we already took the point for it anyway. Uh, I don't care about that right now. Okay, does it work? Please, please, please. Oh, <laughs> guys, we are in good shape, guys. We are in good shape. Okay, let's just double check the rest of these. I don't think there's anything in these that we can loot as far as I remember. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about this guy? Oh, that's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, because we can make a forge. The forge is not hard to do, relatively speaking. It's just the uh, the workbench requires like four points in, in intellect and then another point in, in engineering. So that's three points that we would have had to s spend earlier than I normally would have. Now we don't have to do that. We can put that into other things. Let us speak, survivor. Okay, his safe's locked, so we'll have to cheese that later. All right. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at your inventory. And I want to sell you this, and I want to sell you this. I want to sell you both of those. He doesn't want the coffee, the nails. We'll sell as many of those as he'll buy, and then we'll scrap the rest. We're going to sell that. Um, does he want gunpowder? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. If we can sell this now, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I want to keep the coal, though, because... We're going to need it to make wheels for the bicycle. We only need 20, though. There we go. So that gets us 38 coin to start with. Um, all right. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and see what he has for sale. Nothing we can afford right at the moment, but it's good to know what he has. Okay. So... Yeah, all that stuff is way, way, way out of our reach right now. Does he have any just normal 9 mils, though, in case we come across a pistol? He doesn't in Secret Stash. What about in here? He's got some arm repair scenes. Oh, and he's got a pistol. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so, yeah, that... I think we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna get this. We should get enough coin from the first quest to buy this. Um, Unfortunately, he doesn't have any 9... Well, he's got the armor repair scene. I mean, we'll probably have to buy those because we're going to need some ammo for it, obviously. Uh, all right. Well, that's good to know, though. That's good to know. Gratitude. That could uh, be the difference between life and death. Oh, okay. Let's take a, the quest. Uh, do you have any jobs? You don't, shit. You don't have a freaking buried treasure? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's, uh, I guess we're going to... Wait. I'll have to try a fetch. Oh, my God. Well, that's going to be bad. help me. You know, either that or what we could do is we could wait till tomorrow. Man, I really was hoping on doing a buried treasure though. Let's well, let's just right look then. at this. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's look at it and see. You know, we might be able to pull it off. We'll probably we'll get a little bit more XP and I think coin from that too. Fortunately, we have some canned... Well, we have two canned foods, so... I don't think we can afford anything that's in here at the moment. All right, well, we need to, uh... We need to make, like, a tree and leaf. Oh, I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go up here. Got to get away from those guys. Oh, can't believe I just did that. Son of a bitch. All 
Oh, did I already have some of those? I did, didn't I? Oh, old guy. Dude, what the hell? All right, what? how fast is this seeker? He's, hmm, he's pretty damn fast. I don't think we can hit them with a spear through the through the fence, can we? Okay, those guys are probably still over there. We're going to barrel off this way. Yeah, we didn't need that to happen. Okay, so we do have a town over here right next to the trader. That's fan-freaking-tastic, actually. Shoot, I wish I would have known that or I would have taken something off to the east because this one's off to the north. Let's take a look and see where it is. Yeah, it's all the way back up where we were. Um, but... Hmm. Okay, well... I think we should probably try and establish some kind of a base first. And having the trainer right next to the town is fan-freaking-tastic. So let's uh, let's take a look at some POIs here and, and see if we can come up with some possibilities. We'll loot some cars along the way. I do have the wrench, but I don't want to start wrenching cars until we have a place to put all of the stuff. We'll loot them, but we won't wrench them. This place is in pretty rough shape. That's not a bad thing necessarily, though, because then we can fix it up and get lots of XP in the process. Oh, not good. Son of a bitch. <gasps> oh, shit! No, 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 no! I didn't even hear him! Oh, we're dead. Okay, here, can I get this down? Now run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, man. That was bad. That was bad luck. <laughs> that was just bad luck. There's nothing I could have done about that. And as you can see, it is impossible to outrun dogs on foot in the early game. Not going to happen. Okay, now, the next question is... Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I hate dying, man. Of course, everybody does, but shit. <clears throat> okay. Good thing this isn't dead is dead, huh? Um, now, the next question is, is that dog camping our stuff? Ooh, this is a really good POI to loot, and there's some, usually not, uh, sleepers inside of it. Son of a bitch. All right, I'm trying to see if the damn dog is over there. I don't think he is. I think the game despawns the zombies that kill you, so they don't camp your stuff. Not 100% positive about that, though. But it, it would appear to be so, because otherwise that dog would still be around. Okay, so this POI here actually has a weapons bag in it, and usually when I've done it a couple of times in the past, there's, there's no sleepers in there. That doesn't mean there's not going to be this time. But let's try it. Yeah, I want him to get all the frick away from us. They do that weird thing where they run back towards you and it's a little bit unnerving. Okay, let's be purple. Oh, it's a bunny. <laughs> okay, let's be purposefully noisy. Let's see if we can... Pile up a sleeper. I thought I might have heard one stir, but... Can't say for sure. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, what we could do with him is let him break out. This ceiling's solid, right? And let's put this down up here. So theoretically, that should prevent new spawns. 
I don't want him chasing me though. That guy's fast. We can't outrun him. Not not out in the open anyway. If we could get him to break a hole or get somewhere within range of our spear, we could try and take him out, but he's he's all fixated on the frickin' stoves over there. Come over here, man. Make sure nobody else is coming. Hey, okay, I'm over here. Dummy. You stupid son of a zombie. Oh, maybe we can hit him from up above. Okay, here, let's try. This, this is going to break here in a second. Oh, not good. Not good. Ah, shit. Ah! I'm trying to see if we can luck out and have him run, run. Oh, I hate that about this game. You have your, your fingers down on the sprint button. I got an idea. He was like right on our ass, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to bust this open so we can get to his head. We hit him a couple times, and he's not super tough. too close to him though either. Okay, we gotta get our stamina back here. Let's um we gotta hurry. It's gonna break through. Okay, we better take this while the taking's good too. Okay. Okay, damn. That was a handy little POI to have. Okay, let's try this again. We're at half health, so <laughs> that's not good. Not good at all. Okay, that could actually be a quick little escape route for us. We have to get out of here in a freaking hurry. Let's uh see how many spikes can we make. Seventeen. No, we don't need that many. Let's make say six, because I don't want to use up all my wood. And we can scrap all that too. Don't need any of that stuff right now. Um, let's pop a chicken soup. Get our stamina cap back and a little bit more healing there. Now, we have the opportunity for uh, some good stuff in here, including a second wrench, so let's do that first. Okay, there's our cooking pot. We needed that. An iron. Two more cooking pots. Oh, nice. Pumpkin pie and the uh, Get Better Prices Elixir stuff. I'm glad we found this POI when we did. Coffee? Okay, good, good. Oh, and there's our other wrench. Perfect. So we, you know what? Actually, we don't need the other wrench, though, do we? Because 
we have a working workbench at the trader. We're going to eventually build one anyway, though, so it's useful. Oh, <laughs> look at that. More. Uh, let's get these on the toolbar. And, okay, so keep. Quiet, because we got a Zeker outside. Yucca juice, nice, nice. Okay. So down here, there's some, like, cobblestone resources and stuff, but there's a weapons bag underneath the stairs. So, I'm hoping we can luck out. Well, let's clear it first, and then we can go back outside and get some grass to make a shovel. So, because, you know, we put our, our bag down, but... The, you know, preventing... Oh, shit. Preventing the despawns, that doesn't, um... Always kick in right away. Okay, here's what we're going to do with this guy. We're going to spike the floor here. And I don't have any arrows, do I? Oh, we can make arrows. Yeah, I kid you not, man. The first... I've looted this P.I. like three or four times, and... Every other time I've come to it, there hasn't been any Z's. So why do they have to be in here now? <laughs> I mean, really. Okay. Just quit your belly aching, old guy. Get the job done. We're going to put the second spear down here. Okay, here we go. Okay, that went reasonably well. Let's make a little noise. Yeah, I was going to say, let's see if there's another zombie down here. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's the weapons bag right there. How tough are these stairs? Oh, 2,000. Yeah, no thanks. Not going to be hitting on that. All right, well... Let's hope that uh, there's no more down here. Just in case there is somebody behind there. And that'll buy us enough time to get back up the stairs and put some more spikes down, if there is. I don't see anybody around that, anyone around that corner. There's possibly somebody back. No, I don't think so. I think we're clear. All right, cool. Ammo. Shotgun ammo. Not what I wanted. I wanted to... Well, maybe unless we get a shotgun. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay. That's amazing. Absolutely freaking amazing. Okay. So, we got ourselves a pistol now. With some ammo. That's the important part. And this is just for oh shit moments. Like, you know, when a dog sneaks up behind us. Um, let's go ahead and put the weighted mod on our, uh, our main spear for now. And let's see, uh, and the bow. Yeah, so let's scrap this. And now we have a better, better bow. Better than what we had. Okay. Well, that was well worth the price of admission. Let's get the cloth from this. Now we've got a bunch of resources in here, um, you know, that we can take advantage of. 
well, not a bunch, but some. So, like this is stone here, so let's harvest this. I need to go back up topside and make a shovel um, so that we can get the cobble, because we're going to need that. This will give us cloth and plastic. This will give us cloth and plastic too, I think. Uh, repair. Yeah. Don't think there's anything behind here besides trash, of course. Okay, we got a little brass out of that deal. That sink we could probably wrench. Nothing else up there. Don't know if there's something behind here or not. Let's just break a couple barrels. I want to say probably not because it's not looking like it. Yeah, pretty sure there's nothing behind here. Okay. Uh, let's go make a shovel so we can get the cobblestone. And we've got a lot of stuff in here we could wrench if we wanted to. Okay, so make sure there's no zombies nearby. None that I can see. All right, so we basically need grass. Is that enough? Show enough. Yeah, get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. We are really encumbered now. So let's grab this cobble. I guess there's only two things of cobble down here. I, th I was thinking there was more. Okay, so that gives us 70. Yeah, that's not a ton, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about the rest of the stuff. If we wanted to, we can come back later and wrench, but uh, right now we're already massively encumbered, so let's just keep on keeping on. Okay, so as far as water goes, well, we do have a lake there. Um, and we have that water tower there as a source of water. Well, there's two water towers. Okay, so, um, what are our options? I'd like to be really close to the trader. This POI is really close to the trader. But, it would require some serious fixing up, which we could seriously fix it up. We'd get lots of XP for doing that. Uh, is this not lootable? So that's an option, um, or this A-frame place over here is an option. That's got uh, that one's got sleepers in it. So I'm thinking maybe we take a look at fixing this place up. So happy that we found a pistol with ammunition, though. That's really going to help us survive. Okay, so I guess what we need to do is we need to... What, I'm trying to figure out what kind of zombie that is, if it's one we can outrun. Well, whether we can or can't, let's make it bugger off. There's a freaking dog in that backyard, man. Yeah, we can outrun him, He, but I don't want to tangle with him either. He's pretty tough. Okay, so the question now is, are there sleepers in this place? Let's find out.
there's something behind that. Tiny little kitchen. We ran into that stupid dog back there. Okay, let's not loot yet. Let's just make sure everything's clear. With the exception of chairs, because that gives us wood. It doesn't make any noise. Well, this will give us cloth and wood. We should close this door, actually, even though they can still get in through over there. But sometimes their AI fixates on the door, even if there's a better way, so. Okay, looks like our baldy friend came back. That's not good. Okay, this room's clear. Here's what I'm going to do. Well, we need to make sure this room's clear before we secure the upstairs. All right, that room's clear as well. Okay, so let's put um let's put some frames down here. So that way, if someone comes up from down below, we, um, you know, it buys us a little bit of time to jump off that way. Um, or if something comes from out of there, we can quickly pick the frames up and run back downstairs. That's the strategy there. Okay, let's pick this up. And then we're going to bust a hole in through here and take a peek. I have a feeling like there might actually be some fat loots in here because it's locked up so tight. There is a bag in there. All right. I think our building is free of sleepies. Okay, let's see what's in here. Water. That's kind of a weird place for a bed right in front of the damn door. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's get the top floor secure before we do anything else. And then we can put a chest down and kind of breathe easy. Uh, but before we do that, let's just get all of the... The looting done down here because once we get the top floor secure this place will at some point so i'm just going to come in and start breaking things and we want to make sure we've got all the good stuff before that happens Well, let's break it. it. Looks like there's just a, a fire coals coals in there, but we'll get iron for breaking this in low XP, so it's still not a complete waste. You know what we should actually do? Let, let's secure the upstairs first and get a chest down. That's more important because... Oh, oh, oh. Damn. 
Oh! Thank you. How is it that there's a dead guy back there? <laughs> oh man, nice. Okay, let's um scrap this. Okay, yeah, let's get back upstairs, get a chest put down so we can unload. That way if we do have to run, we can actually run. Um and we're gonna we'll probably we're probably gonna completely remodel this whole top floor. So for now, um do we have something a container up here we can put at least one thing in. Yeah, this right here. Okay, so let's just put a couple things in there. It doesn't really matter what at the moment. And we'll make a chest. And I'm just going to put that chest down there for now. Okay, so let's unload stuff we don't have to carry around with us. There's almost everything in here. We should probably try and go fill those jars up at some point. Keep the wood. Uh, yeah, let's keep those in case we get infected. We'll keep one splint with us since we've already proven that uh, we can't live without them. Uh, definitely keep the ammo. We'll keep one wrench with us. And the frames and the stone. The vitamins we don't have to keep with us. Uh... Yeah, I want to keep those. Let's keep the normal water in here because we have a couple yuccas to drink. Which, by the way, uh, well, we need food. So, yeah, let's eat. Let's eat the chili now, and let's throw back a yucca. Okay, so now we can move again. Now let's get these stairs broken out get the top floor secure and then we'll finish looting the bottom floor here but actually we're kind of out of time too we completely lost track of time so yeah guys what i'm going to do is um just get this place secured here let's pause the game for a second i'm going to get the the top floor secured probably you know set down a few more chests and you know try and get organized a little bit and then what we'll do um in the next when we start the next episode We'll probably go see if we can do that fetch quest, because now we have a hunting rifle, and we have a pistol. We have a little bit better bow. So, you know, if I just play my cards right, you know, use lots of spikes and that sort of thing, uh, we should be able to actually do that, uh, you know, that fetch quest. All right, so thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, share, share, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.